Wildfires dominated our headlines last summer because we all know our 2020 monsoon was pretty much a dud. But when looking back at why that happened, an interesting fact popped out and it was something that we could actually see in the air all summer long. Last summer, it seemed every week we reported on different parts of our state that were on fire. It was even worse for our neighbors next door in California. We woke up in the middle of the night and there were there were flames. Oh, we could see flames and we ran. In fact, the southwest region saw the most acres of land burned this century. Over a million acres torched and we could really see it in our sunsets. They might make pretty social media posts, but the smoke actually helped to reduce the intensity of the monsoon, that we didn't get as much rain because of all the wildfires that we had um, over the west uh, last last year. And it actually does make sense. And Dr. Randy Servany should know, the legendary ASU professor has seen it all from the Tempe campus where he's been teaching since 1986. And he busted out the Play-Doh to take us through what is needed in our atmosphere to make raindrops fall. In order to get it to rain, Water doesn't collect around itself. It actually has to collect onto something. Dust and other things like smoke are what we call the seeds to a raindrop. In order for a raindrop to form, you got to have something for the water to collect on. It doesn't collect on itself. So up on the top of the, the atmosphere, what we're gonna have is water droplets that will start to form onto, collect onto a dust particle. And as it does that, they get heavier. As they get heavier, they start to fall, and they're going to fall into other dust particles. As they fall down out of the cloud, they're going to fall as a big raindrop. But too much smoke, like we had last year, is a problem. The key with the smoke in terms of causing a lack of rainfall is that the smoke puts too many of these condensation nuclei, these seeds, into the atmosphere so that we don't get as much water collecting on any one drop, on any one seed, and they stay hanging up in the sky. They don't call, fall together and merge into one big droplet. So what, when we put a lot of stuff into the atmosphere, it actually suppresses rainfall. We don't get nearly as much rain when we have heavy smoke days as when we have a moderate smoke day. All that wildfire smoke caused another big problem. Take, for example, this flashlight. It represents the sunlight hitting our valley floor during the summer storm season. When all that wildfire smoke is in the atmosphere, look, it cuts down on the amount of sunlight hitting the valley floor. That means it cuts down on the rising warm air needed for thunderstorm development. Less rising warm air, less rainstorms.